we're gonna see what we're doing click extrude extrude it but this is too much let's extrude it by two or extrude it by three uh, let's say if you extrude it let's say by 10 okay and click OK and now you wanna bring it a little bit back how to do so you just click on move and select the move tool go into your left uh, viewport you can see those if you will click on left uh, viewport right click button of your mouse and then click this sky right here Ex zoom extends so it's going to show us the selected whatever is selected those two polygons now if you will m using the uh, select the move tool and move it by Y see that you can move and position them exactly where you want it this is the other tip for you see where your X and Y axis right here and it's kinda not comfy for you to have them right there how to fix this this icon right here use pivot point center click on it hold it and select this guy right here on the bottom which is going to say use trans transform coordinate center basically whatever you on your viewport it will bring X and Y or Z uh, axis for you right in the center and it's very convenient for you now to move alright so it's not on the left or on the right this is another tip for you so basically we're going to just make it like something like so okay I can see on the viewport right here in perspective alright now and uh, click switch uh, to um, and the options go up get out from the polygon mode just click on it so we get out so we're working with the whole object now or 3d model click on our orbit sub object a tool and basically click right click button on the perspective view and let's zoom in a little bit here what happened here see our ge geometry is funky when we were selecting those uh, dots accidentally we selected these dots and uh, we mess up the whole model and uh, let's go ahead and fix this and then I will teach you how to do uh, that is not going to happen let's switch from bottom view let's switch back to click on our viewport let's save it click on our viewport click from the bottom to top view all right then let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here and bring it to the center all right let's switch to back to vertices mode all right we are in the vertices mode now so what we want to do let's go ahead and select top vertices here and move it see what happened we accidentally grab this vertice and we just mess up okay let's select this vertice and move it by Y like so make sure it's straight and let's select this vertice and move it by Y as well by green axis alright so we fix that alright you can see in our perspective view that we fix it perfectly why it happened let's investigate basically if you will select something like this in perspective view you selecting those vertices and you selecting those vertices and if I'm going to move now in our perspective view let's in perspective view uh, the use transform coordinate doesn't work so you wanna use the this guy right here which is use pivot uh, point center for the perspective just switch it over here holding your mouse left button if you didn't see the coordinates and then what I, what happened I just move it move it and I just change the object uh, geometry make it so bad let's go back and um, now as you can see uh, I fix it 
how to not to select that basically let me just go like that and unselect it click somewhere I'm going to unselect those vertices and let's go some somewhere like that and I'm going to select it again you're gonna see that I'm going to select the bottom one as well even if I didn't see it see the bottom one is selected so my point is how to get rid of it and when you're selecting something like this but I'm not suggesting you to select something like this if you're working with some vertices or one vertex just select the just one vertex pay attention to your perspective view okay but because when you are selecting from the top you are selecting the top vertices and the bottom but how uh, let me let me show it to you again in our top view uh, see in our top view here when I'm going to select like this I'm thinking I'm selecting the top vertices right let me let me select it like this all of those I'm thinking I just selected the top vertices but not you can see the bottom one in perspective is selected as well so it's selecting whatever top bottom whatever is between everything is selected this is not good when you selecting something in top uh, viewport or left viewport or front viewport or perspective viewport what you want to uh, make sure right click right now you want to make sure that and uh, over here find the option which is going to say ignore back facing click on it and let's unselect the, the vertices by clicking somewhere and let's from the top viewport select it again see again it's selected right click again and it should be here the option uh, and this 2D Max version look like it's hiding somewhere but you got an idea be careful when you're selecting it because you can end up in the, in the, in get yourself in the trouble let's let's try in our um, perspective view let's select those boom and let's have a look it checked yeah it doesn't work okay let's go ahead and bring it back and and, and select that ignore back facing and let's select it again yeah it doesn't work you, you gotta just go somewhere I don't want to pay too much time in this video tutorial but when you're selecting the vertices the goal is uh, the tip is when you're selecting the vertices in top view back view left view whatever make sure that you're not grabbing the vertices underneath of it be very careful okay so you you learn your lesson for now it's just for the beginner tutorial it's just fine we're not going to go deep in, in this somewhere here there is an option that's going to select do not select the back vertices you're gonna click on it and when you're working with the top view uh, front view whatever view it's not going to select um, the vertices but it doesn't work uh, currently right now maybe I just need to check mark somewhere I'm not going to spend so much time for this you learn the tip that when you're selecting the vertices make sure that that you pay attention basically and uh, you know rotating uh, in your um, viewport and have a look what, what you're selecting let's say if you're selecting just those you want to select those and then um, let's say if you're selecting just those uh, you want to select just those and then rotate in your uh, perspective view and using the pen zoom and the tool and the orbit sub object tool just rotate your camera and pan your camera and have a look what are you selecting are you selecting the right stuff and uh, you can see over here I selected those uh, dots and let's say if I don't want those dots right here I just want to tap thing and I don't want those dots what you want to do you just want to deselect them uh, click the uh, alt button hold it 
you can see on mouse uh, cursor minus symbol and select them and then zoom out and now you have uh, only on top you know those two dots and more than two whatever you want to select on those two okay and if you want to is again deselect the dots which is vertex or multiple vertices like those two and I have four and those two let's say I want to deselect those two alt button and then deselect them or by single alt button and single click on single vertice, uh, vertex to deselect the single vertex or uh, two vertices just like that so you learn how to deselect and select and over here as you can see just because I was messing a lot with my dots uh, this uh, polygon here is bigger than this over here wider so I'm going to fix this uh, by selecting those from the top those vertices and now I want to make sure that I'm not selecting anything else just those two and from front and from the bottom and double check that it's going to be on the bottom to make this guy this leg same uh, what same you know white and uh, width as this one and uh, I'm going to rotate in my perspective view make sure there is no other dots are selected just only those four as you can see and those two right here and uh, two right here kinda be creative and using your viewports okay and what I'm gonna do now I'm just kinda going to bring my viewport like this zoom out and uh, get back to top viewport and a little bit like zoom out maybe like so using the uh, select and move tool now always when you're selecting vertex or vertices you want to use the select object this tool right here just click on it and select it but now I want to move it so when you're moving only you want to use the select and move tool otherwise you can scroll up bad and not going to see and if you're building very advanced and complex uh, 3D model it's going to be very hard later on to fix it in this simple object or 3D model it's easy to, uh, to fix few dots or few vertices it's no problem and I'm going to move it by Y by about like so to make it kinda same I can see on top view it's about the same alright so I have this the same okay and what I'm gonna do now um, throw my you can select from the perspective view as well uh, click on the uh, polygon I'm in the polygon mode now because I switch from the vertices to a polygon mode and click on it, click on the icon and um, you can see I'm right now selecting the polygon with select and move tool never select polygon, edge or vertex with select or vertices, polygons and edges with select and move tool use always select object tool like this so you will never mess up so I'm gonna click here and I'm going to click here and uh, I'm going to just dislike this one for now like so and what I'm gonna do I'm just going to go ahead and click insert and you already know what is insert by now you should and maybe not one by two a little bit smaller click enter amount like so that's fine I'm gonna click OK next I'm going to insert here why didn't select this at the same time because it has some edges over here and I if I will click insert and select them all three of them it's not going to look good uh, because this one has more edges kind of not uh, identical to other polygons because this has three polygons actually and uh, when I'm selecting three it's look like this single polygons from left or right so I'm going to click here insert now and by two as well and kinda of the same thing going on here also what is group you wanna